Hello guys, welcome you all for this end-to-end data science session where you're going to learn a combination of artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing, NLP, and then generative AI. Everything that you need in order to become a successful data scientist. So hope you guys are enjoying the session. We are enjoying a lot. Uh, we are learning a lot. Hope the same thing for you guys. So if you guys stuck anywhere, if you guys see any uh, need any doubts, please make uh, let us know because like we are here to help you. We we are here to help you, guide you, and then mentor you. So make sure uh, like if you have any doubts, just put it in the comment section. We'll take up and we'll solve your doubts. Okay. So yeah. Uh, today we're gonna see a session which is like a theory and black box of uh, LDA. So it's a linear discriminant analysis. That is what we're gonna see today. So before going for the session, as always, guys, please make sure that you guys watch all the previous session videos. So that you can have a continuation of what we are talking and you can be able to clearly understand what we are telling. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, so yeah, without wasting any time, let us jump into today's session. Before that, guys, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so and then press the bell icon so that you can not miss any of the session. Because like every day we are just uploading a new session, right? So that you guys doesn't miss any of the session. Okay, you will get the notification. Yeah, and let us move on to today's session. So linear discriminant analysis. So what is linear discriminant analysis? It's a dimensional detection technique used in machine learning and statistics. It aims to find the optimal linear combination of features that best separates different classes of data. LDA is particularly useful for classification problem where you want to distinguish bet between multiple variables. Okay. Let's fix the context first of all. Okay. LDA is also a dimensional detection technique. If you guys have watched uh, the last three sessions, right? You guys already know what is LDA. Okay, linear discriminant analysis. If you guys know dimensional reduction, then you guys gonna explain us what is dimensional reduction. Okay, what we gonna do means we gonna convert a high dimensional data to a low dimensional data. Simply, let us let us say a simple context. I need to predict whether the person has a heart disease or not based on different features I'm gonna have. Nearly like consider I'm having thousand features. Okay, like blood glucose level, uh, blood sugar level, glucose level, blood sugar, everything right, uh, everything same. Okay, let's put it in this manner. We are having glucose level. We are having um, like we are having glucose level. What is the blood pressure level? Then what is the gender of uh, the person that is having? And then what is their heating habit? Like those things. Okay, and we're gonna predict whether the person is gonna having heart disease or not. So like that, we will be having thousand records to predict whether the person has a heart disease or thousand columns. Now, I'm gonna convert this i dimension of thousand columns to only ten columns such that those 10 columns is able to represent all other thousand columns. I hope like you guys can able to understand, right? So that's the thing. Okay. So we're gonna uh, convert the high dimensional data of thousand columns to predict the hard disease. Now we're gonna convert those high dimensional to a lower dimension such that we will be having only two dimensional data. Okay. Only very, very less. That is only two dimensional data to predict the same thing. Now, storage of those thousand columns will be high, right? When compared to only two columns and computationally heavy for thousand columns. Now we're going to have only two columns, which is very less. Okay. Hope you guys can able to understand and you guys are with me. Okay. Now, this is was the same thing that we're going to do with LDA. What is LDA? Somewhat different is it tries to create a line and it tries to separate the data points such that it creates a classification kind of thing but it also do the same thing of dimensionality reduction so the data set can be any dimension it's gonna treat it in a manner that it creates a line and it tries to split the data points as much as possible you guys can see in the screen right so yeah that is what this let us move on to the next thing assumption and prerequisite of lda okay <laughs> you guys need to know these things before going for the uh, these are the black boxes, I will say. Okay, before going for the coding session, you guys need to know what these things are. Okay, LDA operates under certain assumptions. Data must be normally distributed within each classes, and the variance of different classes should be equal. Curve, mountain curve. Okay, all data should follow a mountain curve, and the variance of the classes in each and every data set should be same. These are the two assumptions that we need to make then. Additionally, features should be linearly correlated within the target vari variable. LDA requires labeled data for training, meaning each data point belong to known classes. Guys, and one more thing I need to say. We are learning unsupervised learning here, but, but LDA is an exception case 
it is belongs to supervised learning but it comes under dimensionality reduction and it is lda guys this is an exceptional case here you will be having the label lda comes under supervised learning technique and it is dimensionality direction category we call it as lda guys this is going to be your interview question interviewer going to ask you what is lda you will say it is a dimensionality direction conversion of high dimensional to a low dimension whether it belongs to supervised or unsupervised you will blindly say it is unsupervised because like it belongs to a dimensionality direction no it's an exception case lda is belongs to supervised learning because it's as a reliability data let's move on to the next thing let us see what are the assumption and prerequisites we are having normal distribution each classes should be follow uh, a normal distribution this assumes ensure this assumption ensures that the data point within the classes or cluster around a certain central mean okay because uh, whenever you are having a data point right it, it is like a mountain kind of curve you should have so that is a central mean all the data points are congested i will not say congested cluster around the mean okay so that is what called as a uh, normal distribution then we are having equal variance the variance of different classes should be similar this means that spread of data points around their respective mean should be relatively consistent across classes i am saying it can be a mountain so you should not have a steep curve at the end then it becomes outlier right it is my main value here my mountain ends but it, if it the data points goes beyond it then it becomes outlier it should not be like that so we should have a equal variance next linear relationship since it is a linear discriminant analysis it it assumes the data points are linearly distributed there should be a linear relationship between the features and the target variable this relationship allows the lda to find the linear boundary that effectively separate the classes so i i have told right in the first slide itself we will be having a line in lda and this line helps us to separate two different classes in a manner the data points in one class should be should as less distance between them when compared to the data points in one class should have more distance between the data points in other class that's it hope you guys can able to understand and it should also follow a linear relationship uh, this are the assumption hope you guys can able to understand okay yeah moving on okay what are the objectives of lda simple objectives objective of lda is to find a set of linear discriminants that maximize the separation between classes and while minimizing the variance within each classes this involves finding the direction in the feature space the best difference differentiate the group okay uh, i hope like it's a bit confusing let's make the things very simple okay <laughs> let's let's make it very simple okay okay what is an objective maximize the separation i hope like you guys can see the blue color green color there should be more separation between them that is what maximizes the separation this is one class this is one class so there should be maximum distance as much as possible LDA aims to find the directions that maximize the distance between the means of two different classes or different classes. That's it. Here we are having two classes: class A, class B, and we need to find as much as differences between them. That's it. Okay, you guys can able to understand the first objective, right? Maximize the separation. Then, minimize the variance. LDA seeks to minimize the spread of data points within each class and choose the data points within the classes or closely clustered. Now. you need to minimize the distance between these blue dots because everything belongs to same class similarly you need to minimize the distance between all the green class because everything belongs to same class okay now maximize the separation between two classes multiple classes minimize the variance bit within the classes that is what the objective guys i hope like you guys can able to understand right you guys are with me okay so yeah this is what all about the objectives of lda i hope like i am able to explain this properly okay these are the objective okay let's move on to the next thing okay math behind lda same thing i am going to justify in a manner of math that's it okay don't like uh, don't like get shocked or don't get like uh, okay what we going to do they are saying like it's a mathematics no don't worry about it let's make the sim thing simpler mathematics begins lda lda uses mathematical techniques to find the optimal linear discriminants it involves calculating the within class scatter matrix and between class scatter matrix 
by finding the eigen vectors corresponding to largest eigen value of the ratio of this matrix lda identifies the direction that best separate the classes i hope like it is not going to be understandable by you guys but no problem let us make it very simple so that you guys can understand okay let's come with me okay within class cluster like scatter matrix within class that means we are having a cluster okay we are having the data points class and the data points are within the class so within class scatter matrix measure the variance within the class each class that is data points within the class should have the very less variance that is represented by using within class scatter matrix variance next between class scatter matrix measures the variance between the means of different classes this is one class we are having data points this is another class we are having another data points the distance between them the variance between them is defined by using the between class class uh, scatter matrix hope you guys i i am explaining in a very simple term so that you guys can able to understand the black box behind the lda okay i need each one of you to understand the black box so that when we are moving on to the coding session right you guys doesn't think about hey, this man has told the uh, mathematics concept but but like we are we are just using only two lines of code what it is okay just understand this within class scatter matrix means measure the variance within the classes only one class that's it between class scatter matrix means measure the variance between the data points of two different classes that's it okay hope you guys can able to understand okay guys uh, so we will pass here okay because like i have introduced you uh, to lda and also the mathematics max behind it so let us let us continue the remaining thing in the next session hope you guys have enjoyed the session if you guys have any doubts just ping in the comment section and we are here to take uh, we will take up and we will solve your doubts okay because like we are here to guide you mentor you and help you to become a successful data scientist so yeah guys that, that's it uh, that's all about this session so we will continue this session in the next uh, class so i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this session uh, so if you guys have any doubts as i mentioned we will please make sure that you guys uh, put it in the comment section we will take up we will solve your doubts and one more thing guys make sure to learn each and every session uh, two to three times uh, sir is mentioning like if, if sir will be mentioning like you need to mention like uh, learn nearly 10 times so that you can able to understand so for me at least try to learn two to three times each and every session so that you can have a better understanding of what we are telling so yeah guys uh, that's all about uh, this session thank you guys uh, we will all meet in the next session bye guys take care we will all meet in the next session bye guys